For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm going to give you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new product from Outdoor Revolution. So this here is the Outdoor Revolution Pronto Windbreak. To be fair, it's been actually in the range for a year or so now. Uh, it's been really, really popular. The premise of it is a quick and easy windbreak to put up. Um, but what it actually does as well is gives you more kind of sheltered area. The reason I say that is because there's no internal guide points when you have it in position like we have here. And it means that you can actually have your furniture closer up to the sides. And we'll bring the camera around in just a short moment to have a look on the inside of it to show you how much space you've got. You've got four fixed panels and got two windows in there. So you've got PVC windows to get light in as well to get visibility out. It's each panel itself is about 1.4 meters. So our entire length was looking at 5.6 meters itself. You've got uh, up poles to give it a bit more strength as well. And all the guide points and pegging points that you need to go with it. As we've seen from our own at walls pitching and packing video, it is very simple to put up. You know, someone like myself can do it in the best part of sort of two or three minutes, pegged out, guide out, we're ready to go really, all but a lot of talking. The joys here again is it just gives that bit more of a premium feel. And you don't have to necessarily use it with something like a, an awning. You can use it on its own on the campsite, take it to the beach, um, and it's just got our flexibility with it. Because it's obviously packed stand into one and, and you've got to feed the upright poles, it makes life a lot easier and you can kind of get in a pre-shaped. So you don't have to have it dead square. You can also have it sort of angled in, if you will. Uh, and then like I said, it creates this almost little enclosure around wherever you need it to be. You've got all the, the main crossbars um, sort of pop in and out. So again, if you want to, uh, like I said, pop that, push that in. It's just sort of collapsed and then sort of concertine is in. But then when you want it outweighs, ooh, uh, I said it holds firm and yet again when the wind's blowing keeps it nice and taut. You can buy additional guide points to sort of anchor this point and anchor that out. For me I'd say that's not a bad shout anyway. Anything to do to sort of beef up the wind break um, is always definitely a bonus. With all the panels are sort of prefixed together so you always have to have a set of four but you can like I said is sort of make it and create it into whatever shape you'd like. One thing to mention as well is you've got a uh, six mil beading sort of cater on either side. So you can feed that directly into your caravan rail and then have that as a sort of a physical screen around. Because it's got this kind of low level strip, it means that, you know, less dogs and sort of whatever you're taking with you are less likely to get underneath it to sort of escape. You've also got a little Velcro, um, a little elasticated point down there to peg it and get it nice and taut. There is also, to put my worth mentioning, a smaller version, a compact Pronto, uh, which we've got located behind it. Which, in fact, let's get a camera and have a look at it now and we see the differences. So, like I said, you've got the four kind of panels there. Really quite smart. The kind of the white colour gives it a bit more of a, a pop. And the cross points just make it look a little bit more premium. So when we look on the inside of it here, you've got, like I said, there's no internal guy ropes uh, in, in the heart of it. So it means you can sort of stand right up to the top as you will, and then sort of scope yourself round. Now, we've got the smaller version, which is the, uh, the compact version. You can see initially, in terms of the height-wise, what's the difference here. So one's that's only a metre tall. This is 1.4, and like I said, 1.4 all the way around. So it kind of gives you that nice bit of enclosure. You can sit out on a night's evening. You know, you get a sort of shelter away from the wind, um, but it just creates that enclosure. Because you've got that beading on either side, in theory, you could actually put two together. So you wanted something that's the best part of, well, just shy of 11 meters, well, actually just over 11 meters, that would work really well as well. And they create almost like this whole kind of full on enclosure. Again, from the side profile, you can kind of see a difference in height between say this one meter version and then the 1.4. But overall, really quite a smart model. Something that was a, a, a sort of quite a popular model uh, last year. I can just see it going a bit better. I think the colour scheme on this model is a bit better than it was last year. A bit more neutral, matches the awnings or tents. Um, but even so, it's, it's just packs down quite small. So you're looking at about 90, uh, 107 tall. And it's quite a narrow bag. So not an awful lot different to a chair bag. But the fact that it's, you know, a lot hassle-free to pitch is a big, big bonus. Like I say, if you want to know more information about this particular model, uh, you can also check the link in below the video. It'll take you straight through to our website. We've got all the sort of the, the other features to go with it. So the um, video review of it, the pitching video of it, and all the other information about sizes, pack sizes, weights, 
is all located there so you can easily find that as well as obviously the current price of it but really nice model something i think that's a bit unique um and again something that's a bit easier to transport from to and from places i know there are other ones on the market but they're a bit taller a bit more bulkier and you know give you the same level of protection so yeah that's kind of our little video review on the outdoor revolution pronto windbreak uh, in the four